When you're tying your jib seats on, what I use is one continuous jib sheet, and I don't tie the ends of the jib sheet to the sail, I tie the middle. Um, the reason for that is I use the ends to tie to the trapeze handles, um, and I'll show you why we do that in a moment. So you take your two ends, and just find roughly the middle of the jib sheet. And then what you do is take that, and pass that through the eyelet. But not all the way, just so that you've got a little loop coming out the other side. And then, take the two ends, and pass them through the loop that you just made, and pull it all the way through. And what you'll find is then you've got two ends that can go to your, through the jib cleats and to your trapeze handles, and there I've got two black marks which line up so that I know when I sheet my jib in, I've always got it to the right place. And there you find that that knot won't slip. If it does, instead of using that loop, just tie a knot, um, to try a conventional knot with the jib in the middle of it, um, so that you can uh, hold the jib sheet in place without it slipping. If you use smaller rope, you might find it slips, but I don't have a problem with this rope at all. And then you can take those down, put them through your cleats, and cleat the jib off while you're uh, rigging up the rest of the boat so it's not flapping around all the time. OK, so once you've put your jib sheet in the cleat on this side, like we did a minute ago, pass it underneath the boom, and make sure it's not fouling anything else in the boat. Now, a really good tip here is to attach the jib sheet in some way to the trapeze handle. So when the crew goes out on the trapeze, they take the jib sheet with them. There's nothing worse than going out on the trapeze, the jib sheet's in the bottom of the boat, and there's nothing you can do about it. So, what I've actually got is a loop in the end of my jib sheet. I'm going to use a small snap shackle. Um, here it is. It just lives on the, uh, on the trapeze wire there. So, just push the loop through the snap shackle and snap it shut. Now, you can do this a number of different ways. Some people tie it onto one of the shackles on here. Some people just tie it onto here. Again, not a good idea to tie it onto the bottom because that's where the crew's going to want to use it for trapezing. But with it there, it's uh, very convenient, just ready for the crew. When they go out on the trapeze, it's there for them to hold in their hands. If it's up here, it can tend to get hooked up in the, the crew's hands a little bit. Um, and uh, I don't know, it's, it's preference, again, try different things, but I do find it easier if it's down here. As with all the lines in your boat, make sure your trapeze, make sure your jib sheets your main sheets, your kicker, aren't too long. The last thing you want is loads of rope at the bottom of the boat. You see here that we're almost completely rigged up now. Apart from spinnaker sheets, we've got all the bits of rope on the boat. And look how clean the boat is. There's nothing, there's no, there's no wastage. And that's really what you want to do, is effectively you want to trim your ropes down once you've bought them. Um, buy a little bit extra, trim them down until you're happy you've got the right length, and then there's less for you to get tangled up in.